Life on our planet is diverse and amazing, from simple single cell organisms to very complex forms of life. Scientists seek to understand life in all its variety. To understand the relationships of and origins of life, scientists use hierarchical classifications. Today there are six major kingdoms. These kingdoms are then divided into phylums, which are further subdivided on and on until the most basic rank species. The animal kingdom is one of which most people are aware. This includes our pets, like cats and dogs. It includes much of what we eat, including cows and pigs. And it includes ourselves, humans. But there are other members of the animal kingdom that are much smaller. Though we may not see them, they are often very close to us. In fact, they may be inside you. Platyhemithes, or flatworms, are one of the simplest animals in the animal kingdom. Flatworms include the Turbelliera, which are mostly non-parasitic parasitic predators such as planaria. It also includes tapeworms, which are parasitic, parasitic in nature, meaning they have a symbiotic relationship where they, whereby they benefit at their host's expense. The flatworms do share some common traits. They have no skeleton, but move using, using little cilia and a simple muscular system consisting of two, just two layers of muscle. For digesting food, they have an opening called a pharynx that leads to a gastrovascular cavity in which it digests the food, then it is excreted through the pharynx. Flatworms can be found either free-living, usually in the water, or they, or they are parasites living inside other organisms. One notorious flatworm is a tapeworm that lives inside human intestine. This parasite will normally infect you without you even knowing it. Once they infect you, they slowly take necessary nutrients from you and quietly do you harm. Tapeworms are usually accidentally discovered. There are reports where doctors will pull a worm out of a person's mouth or the person is excreting waste and the worms come out too. Either way, it can be quite traumatic to realize you've been the host to this unwanted guest. Once you get infected, it's normally very hard to get rid of it because one little piece that isn't killed can grow back to its original size. Flatworms are one of the many species that can regenerate its body. If it's cut in, in two or split in two, as long as each half has three certain cells, both halves will create a new flatworm, as shown in this demonstration. Of course, it takes some time to regenerate itself, but in time, you will end up with two identical worms. Flatworms do not have a full digestive system with a mouth and an anus, but they only have a gastrovascular cavity, like a stomach, and a pharynx, which is double duty as both the mouth and the anus. Food enters through the pharynx and then is digested. Flatworms will digest the food, then absorb the nutrients through diffusion. Since they have no circulatory system, the food has to be diffused throughout the body. Once the food is digested, the waste is excreted through the pharynx. Cilia, as shown here, are short, hair-like projections coming out of certain cells in many organisms. In most flatworms, they are throughout the ectoderm of the organism to help with movement throughout the water and to move substances to the pharynx.